this video we're talking about T accounts and I'm your instructor Brandy. The last video you watched was all about the general ledger and how we got transactions into the general ledger. The general ledger was very formal and that's what we use in our accounting system to follow the accounting cycle within our books. Well, when we're in accounting class, we don't always want to be super formal and take the time to do up a proper general ledger. So instead we use T account and they're called T accounts because you draw a giant T. So let's look how this works. And last time we put those into the general ledger, this time we're putting them into T accounts. So like I said, drawing T accounts is really easy. You just draw a T for each account. So draw a capital T on your page and then the account name above it. And each account will have one T and all the transactions for that account will go into the same T. And I put them right beside the journal entry so you guys can see how these are going in. And I'm going to go through each account individually and just copy them into the T accounts. And you can put the date beside the transaction, but it's not necessary. I'm just going to put the number representing the date. So for Jan 1st, I'm putting one. And I've got debit, $10,000 cash there. And once I recorded that transaction into my T account, I'm just going to check it off. The second one, capital FISBO is a credit. Again, I'm going to put a one and I'm going to check it off. The third transaction, on January 3rd, I've got my car being debited for 5,000, and I also have my accounts payable for $5,000. Advertising expense is being debited for $100 on January 5th, and cash is being credited on January 5th for $100. Accounts receivable is being debited $250 on January 7th, and service revenue is being credited $250 on January 7th. Now I've put all my transactions from my journal into my T accounts. We're gonna go through each of the T's and calculate the balance in the account. And I'm drawing a line indicating that after this line is what the balance is. For my cash account, I have one debit for $10,000 and a credit for $100. The net of those numbers, because I have a debit and a credit, I'm going to subtract them and I get a debit of $9,900. Accounts receivable, there was only one transaction, so it remains a debit of $250. The car, only one transaction, debit of $5,000. Accounts payable, we've got a balance of $5,000 in a credit balance. For FISBO Capital, I've got a $10,000 balance. Service revenue, I have a $250 balance credit. And advertising expense, $100 balance as a debit. And you'll notice I didn't actually write debit or credit anywhere on my T accounts. We know that debit means left side and credit means right side. So if you go through and look at the T accounts compared to your ledger balances that we did on the last video, the balances are exactly the same. The T account is just a simple version of the ledger. So now you know how to post to T accounts instead of the general ledger. Thanks for watching everyone.